You've probably seen a lake before, or maybe even been swimming in a lake a few times. But did you ever wonder how the lake got there? Or what makes a lake different from other bodies of water? A lake is a body of water that is surrounded by land and doesn't move much and can be big or small, and they form inside of basins, which are basically bowl-shaped craters or holes in the ground. But did you know that there are millions of lakes in the world? Canada has over two million lakes alone. That's a lot. There's a lake on all seven continents, and they can be found in all kinds of climates and environments. And every lake has a unique and often strange origin story, like lakes in the middle of volcanoes, lakes that magically disappear, lakes with monsters swimming in them, and lakes that can steam your dumplings? Here's our list of 15 of the most mysterious lakes in the world. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 15. Covao dos Conchos, Portugal. Portugal's Lagoa de Serra da Estrela is actually not a portal to any other time or place, although it totally looks like it, nor is it the ultimate entry point to the world's most gnarly water slide. And no, it isn't a natural sinkhole lined with cascading waterfalls. Covao dos Conchos is, in fact, a wonder of engineering. What's more, there are plants growing around the edges of the concrete and granite drain pipe, making the giant hole look even more natural. It's a man-made funnel leading into a long tunnel almost 5,000 feet in length. This tunnel, or spillway, is designed to provide nearby communities with fresh water, but the fact that no other constructions are present nearby makes the funnel system seem more like a part of a lake than part of an infrastructure project. The lake in the Serra de Estrela Mountains and the amazing Covao dos Conchos was artificially created in 1955 during the construction of the nearby hydroelectric dam. Instead of building a pipeline to channel water between this lake and another lake nearby, the engineers working on the project decided to drill a tunnel through the mountain to connect the two. Genius! This sci-fi looking spillway was a little known secret in Portugal until photos of the hole went viral in 2016. Number 14. The Hells of Beppu, Japan Japan's Hells of Beppu attracts visitors from all over, but beware! These aren't your regular run-of-the-mill hot springs as their temperatures are too high for anyone to soak in safely, and these hot-as-hell pools have very different and unique attributes for visitors worldwide to enjoy. There's Umi Jigoku, roughly translated as the ocean's hell, one of the more beautiful pools, and features a pond of boiling blue water. We have the Onishibozu, hell, a pool named after the mud bubbles, which emerge from boiling mud pools and look like the shaven heads of monks. And for you foodies, Kamado Jigoku, known as the cooking pot hell, is where to get eggs, vegetables, and sweet dumplings, all steamed to perfection by hot spring vapors. You may also enjoy hand and foot baths here if you wish, and why not? Just don't stick your feet in this next pool. The Oniyama Pool is home to a large number of crocodiles kept on the grounds and known as the Monster Mountain Hell. And there's the Blood Pond Hell, which features a cauldron of hot red water caused by the levels of iron and magnesium enriched clay that seeps into the pool from the ground. And last but not least, the Tatsumaki Pool, known as the Tornado Hell, stars a hot geyser that erupts erratically about every 30 to 40 minutes. Sound like fun? Japan's Hell of Beppu has everything. Number 13. Medicine Lake, Canada. This intriguing lake is a place of mystery and legend. The water level of the lake varies from season to season. Like normal lakes, sometimes it actually disappears. Early First Nations people thought that spirits were responsible for the dramatic fluctuations in the placid waters, and nobody knew for a very long time where the water was really going. During the summer glacier melt, waters flood the lake, sometimes overflowing it, and in fall and winter, the lake disappears, becoming a mudflat with scattered pools of water connected by a stream, all of which is not so unusual. 
lakes empty all the time. What makes Medicine Lake unusual is that there's no visible channel for draining the lake. So where does the water go? The answer is out the bottom, like a bathtub without a plug. The water drains out through sinkholes in the lake bed. The water then streams through the limestone cave system below the lake, surfacing again almost 10 miles downstream. During the 1970s, researchers used a biodegradable dye to determine the underground river's extent. The dye showed up in many of the lakes and rivers in the area. It became clear that the underground system was one of the most complex in the world. This makes Medicine Lake the entrance of one of the largest known sinking rivers in the Western Hemisphere and what may be the largest inaccessible cave system anywhere in the world. Number 12. Lake Niles, Cameroon Lake Niles is a crater lake in the volcanic highlands of northwest Cameroon, Africa. Local mythology suggests that people around Niles have always known that the lake harbored an evil energy capable of major destruction. Indeed, Cameroonian myths suggest that lakes are said to be the homes of ancestors and spirits, and sometimes a source of death. They also believe that lakes may rise, sink, explode, or even change locations. But Lake Nyos had no signs of volcanic activity, and that natural disaster could take place. It was a quiet, blue-colored, beautiful lake surrounded by small villages where the livelihood of the villagers was based on farming and raising cattle. But on the night of August 26, 1986, everything changed. In the evening, when the villagers heard a rumbling sound, leaving their homes to check on the source of the noise, they saw a tall fountain of water sprouting out of the lake, a cloud of white gas that, as it grew bigger and taller, settled on the surface of the lake and started to flow down the valley forming a river of white gas of over 150 feet tall. And sadly, 1,700 villagers and over 3,000 various livestock had died. What was the mysterious white gas? The real killer was identified as a strange and rare volcanic phenomenon, and the white gas was CO2. That's right, carbon dioxide gas. Volcanic activity below the lake released carbon dioxide gas into the surrounding rock. Then it passed through the rock and escaped through the groundwater, into the lake, then into the air. And boom, the villagers were right. Lake Nyos was capable of mass destruction. Number 11. Lake Baikal, Russia. Russia's Lake Baikal is the largest freshwater lake in the world, by volume, and the world's deepest lake, at least 25 million years old. Lake Baikal is also the oldest lake in the world. That's pretty awesome. Located in the southern Siberia area of Russia, Lake Baikal attracts more than 500,000 tourists a year, and in 1996, it was declared a World Heritage Site. There are 5,521 cubic miles of water in this MAGA lake, approximately the same amount as all five of the North American Great Lakes combined. Since ancient times, Lake Baikal has been known as a deeply mysterious place. The lake had been the source of many alleged UFO and alien sightings. It's a UFO hunting hotspot. According to reports, the sightings were covered up by the authorities, but later they were revealed by the Russian media. It's been reported that mysterious lights, fast-moving objects, and strange sounds have been seen and heard at Lake Baikal. Some people have even claimed to see large spaceships hovering over the lake. For real? Lake Baikal has historically played an important role in Russian folklore. I get it. Maybe, just maybe, that's why our friends from outer space like to visit. Wouldn't <laughs> you? Number 10. Spotted Lake, Canada Spotted Lake is a strangely patterned body of water located between the Okanagan and Simakameen Valleys in British Columbia, Canada. The Canadian Broadcast Company, also known as the CBC, calls it the most magical place in Canada because as most of the water starts to evaporate in summer, hundreds of big, beautiful, briny pools are left behind, leaving a polka-dotted landscape of yellow, green, and blue pools. The spotted lake is around half a mile long and about 200 yards wide. The length of the shore around the lake is 1.1 mile. It contains large amounts of magnesium, sulfate, calcium, and sodium sulfate 
sulfates, along with other minerals and traces of silver and titanium. During the hot summer months, when there is more evaporation of the surface water, these minerals remain. As a result, the chemical balance of the lake is changed, the deposits of minerals crystallize, and they form the colorful pools that give the lake its polka dot effect. What is really incredible about this lake is that the color of the polka dot pools change because of the chemical processes in the mineral deposits. Considered a sacred medicine by First Nations people in both Canada and the United States, it's believed that each of the spots has a specific power and can cure particular illnesses. But this might be false. The lake is surrounded by graves. I'm just saying. Number 9. Lake Titicaca, South America Lake Titicaca. Yeah, it sounds kind of funny, but it's an amazing real place. Local legends suggest that this massive body of water gave birth to the sun, the moon, and the first Inca king. Round of applause, please. This lake is kind of a big deal. With the world record of the highest body of navigatable water in the world, Lake Titicaca sits 12,500 feet above sea level in the Andes Mountains of South America, between Peru to the west and Bolivia to the east. Local communities believe that the shape of the lake depicts that of a puma hunting the rabbit. Thus, the name Titicaca comes from the word Titi Charca, meaning rock of the puma in Aymara, a local indigenous language. And check it out. Deep blue skies mimic the rich blue color of the waters below. Fringed by yellow grass reeds that are used to construct the traditional boats and homes floating upon it, the immense body of water creates a warmer and more humid microclimate that amazingly makes farming possible at this altitude, sustaining the population of the surrounding area. Over 200,000 people stretching through the Andes Mountains of both Bolivia and Peru, this lake is the highest navigatable lake in the world and the largest lake in South America by volume of water. An iconic destination unlike anywhere else for sure. Now say Titicaca 10 times in a row. Number 8. Lake Candy, Kazakhstan. Kandy Lake is an amazing mountain lake in Kazakhstan's portion of the Tianshan Mountains. The lake was formed after an earthquake in 1911, which caused a major landslide, effectively creating a natural dam. Successfully, rainwater filled the valley and created the lake. This incredible sunken forest was also created as a byproduct of the 7.7 magnitude Kebin earthquake. Altered by limestone deposits in the area, Lake Candy maintains an incredible coloring totally different from other lakes near. The lake is also famous for the number of naturally bleached spruce trees that stick out of the water, remnants of the trees that were flooded when the lake was formed. The trees, together with the improbable turquoise water of the lake, make an incredibly scenic sight. Underwater, the imagery is even more stunning, as the trees have not decomposed and create the surreal version of an underwater forest. If you do find yourself at Candy Lake in the winter, the lake freezes over and its icy waters become popular for trout fishing and ice diving, for a glimpse of the surreal landscape from under the frozen crystal clear waters. Located in Kazakhstan, Lake Candy is over a thousand feet long reaching depths of nearly 100 feet at its deepest point. Today, the spruce trees are dead, their roots drown deep beneath the water surface, but their top halves tower over the waters and look a bit like ghost ship masts or giant spears left over from a mythical battle. Am I right? Number 7. Don Juan Pond, Antarctica at four inches deep, this body of water in Antarctica looks more like an oversized puddle than a pond. But let me assure you, Don Juan Pond has had scientists, particularly astrobiologists, buzzing since it was discovered in 1961. The shallow water is so saturated with salt it remains liquid even when the temperatures plummet far below zero degrees. Researchers use the Martian-like landscape to study what may perhaps be humanity's next frontier, Mars. That's right, Antarctic scientists have proposed the dark stripes that streak the nearby cliffs came from some sort of downward flowing brine, a fancy word for salty water. As Mars boasts similar sets of slopes, scientists use Don Juan Pond as a terrestrial base for studying water on the red planet, like Mars, but here on Earth. The perennial pond is about the size of a few football fields, but only four inches deep, on average, and it was first visited in 1961, and named after the expedition's helicopter pilots, Donald Rowe and John Hickey, earning it the name Don Juan Pond. 
The unique super salts in the pond lower the freezing point, which is why this saline dream pond can survive in a place where the temperature plunges to minus 58 degrees. The Don Juan Pond does not play. Just bring all your warm clothes if you plan to stay. Number 6. Tal Lake, the Philippines. Tal Lake on the Philippines island of Luzon makes it one of the country's most popular tourist destinations. Located just 30 miles from the buzzing metropolis of Manila, Tal is a lake inside a massive prehistoric volcano, and its geologic history is really freaking cool. Why, you ask? Well, Tal Lake was part of the ocean just a few hundred years ago. That's why. During the 18th century, a series of eruptions filled in the entrance to the inlet, isolating it from the ocean except for one narrow river. And suddenly, Tal Lake existed. Volcanoes can be crazy like that. Incredibly, it's home to some unique flora and fauna, including one of the only two known species of sea snakes that can live in freshwater. They say, until it was hunted to extinction in the 1930s, a population of sharks even made its home in the lake. And speaking of crazy, the volcano peak's current cone is an island rising out of the lakes and yes, called Volcano Island. Even better, the smaller crater of Volcano Island has now also filled with rainwater. And yes, it's called Crater Lake. It writes itself, people. You can't just make some of this stuff up. So. Tal Lake is more than half a mile across, making it the world's largest double lake. It's a lake on an island. On a lake on an island? Mind blown. Number 5. Lake Karache, Russia. Lake Karache is a small lake in the southern Ural Mountains of Russia that, between 1951 and 1953, was used as a dumping site for the radioactive waste from the nearby Chelyabinsk 65, a nuclear waste storage and reprocessing plant. Whoops! One report ranked the lake as the most polluted spot on Earth. The lake is so polluted that its waters will kill a human within an hour. The lake started to dry up in the 1960s, and a 1968 drought combined with a strong wind carried carried radioactive dust away from the area, irradiating half a million people with levels similar to being in Hiroshima during the dropping of the atomic bomb. And the water from Lake Karache was so contaminated that up to 65% of locals fell ill with radiation sickness, which the doctors termed special disease, because as long as the polluting facility was a secret, they weren't allowed to mention radiation in the diagnosis. Wow, now that is shady. The government kept this information a secret until 1990 when the pollution was officially acknowledged. There was a 21% increase in cancer diagnosis, a 25% increase in birth defects, and a 41% increase in leukemia in the surrounding region. Lake Karachai is now full of concrete that's intended to keep radioactive sediment away from shore. Good luck with that. Number 4. Lake Natron, Tanzania the ghastly Lake Natron in northern Tanzania is a salt lake, meaning that water flows in but doesn't flow out, so it can only escape by evaporation. Over time, as water evaporates, it leaves behind high concentrations of salt and other minerals, like at the Dead Sea and Utah's Great Salt Lake. Unlike those other lakes, though, Lake Natron is extremely alkaline due to the high amounts of the chemical natron, a mix of sodium carbonate and baking soda in the water. The water's pH has has been measured as high as 10.5, nearly as high as ammonia. As you might expect, few creatures live in this harsh water of Lake Natron, which can reach 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Though migrating birds occasionally crash into the lake's surface, the highly reflective, chemical-dense waters act like a glass door, fooling birds into thinking that they're flying through empty space. And during the dry season, when the water recedes and various animals desiccate it, yet perfectly chemically preserved carcasses wash up along the coastline. And not long ago, a helicopter pilot tragically fell victim to the same illusion while flying and crashed, and the aircraft was quickly corroded, dissolved by the lake's intense waters. Yikes! Amazingly, two and a half million flamingos make Lake Natron their home each year, and it's considered one of their only breeding grounds, making preservation of the lake a really, really big deal. Hashtag Team Flamingos! Number 3. Pitch Lake, Trinidad when Sir Walter Raleigh discovered the Pitch Lake in 1595, it was already known as the Tierra de Bria, 
its Spanish name, by the local guides who introduced Sir Walter to the 100-acre lake of black gold. Sir Walter Raleigh immediately recognized the potential and began caulking his ships with a sticky tar. On his second voyage to Trinidad, Sir Walter Raleigh took some of the asphalt home with him to the United Kingdom, where it was used to pave London's Westminster Bridge for the opening of Parliament. Unfortunately, the raw patch melted in the sun, as it had a tendency to do, covering horses' hooves and gumming up carriage wheels. Ugh, of a lifetime. The lake was created thousands of years ago when the Caribbean continental plate was forced under another plate. This opened fault lines that allowed oil from deep underground deposits to rise to the surface, where it collected in a volcanic crater. The air caused lighter elements of the oil to evaporate, leaving behind the heavy asphalt, a mix of oil, clay and water. Mining of the Pitch Lake started in 1867, and an estimated 10 million tons of asphalt had been extracted since. It's the largest and most significant Pitch Lake in the world, measuring approximately 100 acres, and is estimated to be 250 feet deep in the center. The black gold tar from the La Bria Pitch Lake in Trinidad has been used for high-grade road surfaces not only in Trinidad, Tobago, and other islands of the Caribbean, but it's also paved streets in over 50 countries, including the United States of America, England, India, Singapore, Egypt, and even Japan. Number 2. Loch Ness, Scotland Cool Loch Ness fact, it contains 263 billion cubic feet of water. There is more water in Loch Ness than in all the lakes in England and Wales put together. So Loch Ness has also snatched the trophy for largest body of water in the whole of the United Kingdom. There's that. It's pitch black, thanks to the glorious liquid sunshine which Scotland is so well known for. The rain carries debris from the surrounding hills down into the water, so visibility is poor. Excellent conditions for a mythical monster in hiding, if you ask us, and the loch never freezes. The murky waters of Loch Ness remain at a rather year-round temperature of just 5 degrees. It doesn't heat up, it doesn't freeze over, also perfect for a monster in hiding, I'm just saying. The Loch Ness Monster is very much a thing, and in 565 AD, St. Columbia allegedly came face to face with the huge water beast when it reared its mighty head and tried to eat Columbus' servant. And there have been various accounts of monster sightings since then, over 1,000 eyewitness accounts and lots of unexplained evidence, leaving scientists baffled. Although the famous surgeon's photograph from 1934 was later revealed to be a hoax featuring a toy submarine and dinosaur head. So, nicely done whoever, but the epic mystery of the so-called Loch Ness Monster may be one step closer to being solved. Scientists found unidentified DNA in the waters of the Scottish Highlands, and after close inspection, 20% of the DNA came back as unidentified, leaving the possibility of an unknown creature living in the waters wide open. Seems like a great hiding place for an ancient giant water beast to chill the house down. Boots! Number 1. Jellyfish Lake Palau Located on an island off the coast of Koror in Palau, Jellyfish Lake is one of 70 saltwater lakes on the South Pacific archipelago that were once connected to the ocean, but are now cut off. Jellyfish Lake, which is over 1,000 feet long and 100 feet deep, is part of the Koror State Rock Island Southern Lagoon. The isolated lake became the perfect setting for a jellyfish explosion, which some speculate were trapped in the lake 12,000 years ago after a rise in sea levels post-Ice Age. The lake was once home to 10 million to 20 million non-stinging golden jellyfish, hitting 30 million at its peak in 2005, but unfortunately, Jellyfish Lake had to close after a drastic population decline in 2016, but after being closed for a couple of years to allow its diminishing jellyfish population to recover, thousands of new golden jellyfish have appeared in the lake, according to marine officials. And one of Palau's most famous attractions has reopened to the public. People from all over the world can swim once again with these gentle jellyfish. And you know what? More than 600,000 golden jellyfish have come back to the lake, according to the Coral Reef Research Foundation. Booyah!